Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's story is going to be about finding happiness even though things went bad. The story is going to be about a German guy that I met in Pattaya a number of years ago. Basically where it was when I went shopping to Big C in Pattaya, the girlfriend was going shopping and that's one thing that I hate doing is pushing a trolley around aimlessly around the food aisles to collect for some shopping. So every time we went shopping, I used to go to the coffee shop and she used to go and do the shopping. So on this particular day, the big seat pad here, I was sat in the coffee shop and the coffee shop was full and this German guy came over and he asked whether he could take a seat at my table. No problem, I said, please take a seat. So we sat, exchanged pleasantries, my name, his name and how long we'd been in Thailand for and uh, I said, have you got a story? Have you got a story to tell? I said, I like listening to people's stories as to the good things and the bad things that happen to people here in Thailand. And he said, yeah, he said, I'll share my story with you. So he shared his story with me and I'm going to share his story with you. So basically this guy was, was German and he worked for the German Air Force. He was a pilot in the German Air Force. And once he retired from the Air Force, became a commercial pilot in Germany. And then he retired, and then he moved over to Thailand. He found a girl that he fell in love with, and he thought he's going to be happy for the rest of his life. Because he had a good pension and a good lump sum of money, he was quite well off. So after a year of being together, him and his girlfriend built a house up at her village. Now that's normal. You'll hear that happen many, many, many times. Listen to the story about what people do and don't do. And building a house for somebody within a year or just after a year, it's a sure way to lose a lot of your money. And sure enough, a year after this guy built the house for his, his girl, they broke up. So he thought, well, well okay, never mind. Maybe it's, it was meant not to be. Maybe he's not meant to be living together. So he came back to Pattaya, found another girl, fell in love with this girl again, and built the house for her. And yes, you've guessed it, about a year, year and a half, he says, after they built the house together, they fell out of love. Ended up arguing, so he moved out of the house. And the thing is with building a house over here in Thailand, that you will never own it. You can't register the land in a foreign person's name. It has to belong to a Thai person. So therefore, you will never ever own the house on the land. There's ways and means around it about getting a company set up and one thing and another, but it's an expensive way to do it. So be careful about building a house for your Thai girlfriend until you're absolutely 100% sure that this person is the person you want to be with for the rest of your life. So anyway, on with the story. So this German guy built two houses for two Thai girls and he's, he's fell in love with a third girl. Fell in love with a third girl, but do you know something Leslie said? He said, I'm much happier with this girl than both of the others. He said, because this girl wants to be with me because he just wants to be with me. He said, I've got nothing to give her. He said, I just have my pension every month. And he said, that's what we live on. I can't build her a house. She knows that. I can't give her expensive things. She knows that. But he said, our life together is blissful. He said, I'm very, very happy with this girl and she's very, very happy living with me. He said, we live in a nice house with a swimming pool. He said, that we rent. He said, I'll never ever build another house. He said, because I can't. I've got no, no money to be able to do it. So he found happiness, even though he's got no money. So the moral of this story is that you don't need to build houses for your Thai girlfriends or your Thai wives. You can rent a house. And the beauty of renting a house is that if you get sick of the area, you can move to another area. Whereas if you buy the house and if you have bad neighbors, then you're stuck with it. So my advice is rent here for two, three, four years before you take the plunge if you're going to build a house somewhere. So take what you want from the story. If you think it was a good story and happy ending, put a thumbs up. 
If you think it wasn't a good story, please leave the comments below. So if we all learn something from these little stories, fantastic. That's what I aim to do is help those people who want to move over here to be successful and not make the same mistakes that many, many other people do. Learn from other people's mistakes so you don't make them yourself. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, bye for now.